got a really, really great, exciting evening. For Tonight, you. it's a fundraiser launch for the first ever Indigenous International Film Festival Gala. It's really important to have something like this because there's a real need, desire, and necessity for Indigenous voices, and particular Indigenous voices from around the globe. It's also an opportunity for the organizers to raise more funds. All of the funds go, of course, to the Indigenous International Film Festival, which is going to be in November, which is going to inspire and bring filmmakers together from all over, from Kenya, from Australia, from New Zealand, from all First Nations around Canada, and it's going to be an amazing red carpet glam event. And over 20 corporations and industry organizations have stepped up in a big way. Sponsorship includes monetary donations and in-kind contributions including George Frolic, who has an extensive background in film and television. Today we, we're talking about it's going to happen this fall. Five years from now, it's going to be a huge event because the world is ready for it. We're starting to appreciate other cultures more and more, and we need to do more and more of that because it makes a better world, and it gives us great insights into other people, and that's an exciting discovery and a great journey. Submissions are ongoing, but one of those films that will be screened is the smash hit Once Were Warriors. It's about a family in New Zealand facing poverty and violence. I'm taking her, Jake, with or without you. I wasn't there when Grace needed me. Submissions have already started coming in, so we've got films from all over the world. Um, we're sort of screening now and beginning the process of the festival, and so we think it's going to be really remarkable. The festival takes place on November the 23rd and 24th in Vancouver. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.